It's been seven years of dedicated determination to learn, understand, and appreciate the sport. Exhausting it is. People often ask, ironically, it's always the same question. Why do you do this? I always smile. Kickboxing and Muay Thai is a series of combinations, rules and experiences. Some hurt, others fascinate. But the best part is, I feel empowered and confident. Hello and welcome to Season 5 of Body & Mind, brought to you by beverage partners Lacknell Healthy Living Juices and Oasis Box Drinking Water, hygiene partners Cool & Cool and associate sponsors Nutrito Adivia, Allium Chicken and Nutri-Cook. As women, we are born fighters, be it stigma, perception, self-image, societal expectations, we fight every day. But today, I'm excited to meet a real-life fighter who is all that and more. This is Reem Al-Jabi, who is a professional kickboxer and Mai Tai trainer. How's it going, Reem? It's very good, very good. I'm so excited to see you, It's finally. an honor to be here. Uh, <laughs> now, physically, we might look more or less the same in size, but this is an undefeated champion, 7-0 score. So, yes. she is, uh, you know, she's no small <laughs> player that we're talking about. Reem, now, um, to give a little bit of background to our viewers, I mean, you come from a banking industry. Yes. And just eight years ago, you got into kickboxing. True. Why? True. Well, I'm, again, I'm always like, and I'm an athlete by nature as a kid, but then I thought that I needed a little bit of a boost, a little bit of adrenaline rushing. Mm -hmm. So I joined kickboxing as a fitness, and then I just love it. I fell in love with it. What made you take it up as a professional sport? I know you love it, but yeah. what was that turning point that made you leave your career and have a completely different switch? So my coach always said that I have a talent, yeah. but I've never thought of fighting. But ironically, I had a very bad neck injury. And that's what I was like, okay, that's a turning point. I'm gonna fight. Yeah. <laughs> because usually it's the other way. And especially if I hurt my neck, I'm not moving ever in life. What made you want to take this up? Because you knew that injury is part and parcel of it. It's an occupational hazard. True, true. But it's just like, I wanted my confidence back. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna step up into the ring. I mean, you mentioned confidence. What does kickboxing do to a person's confidence? I know it's very empowering, particularly for women, because it makes you feel strong and secure. You're not quite nervous when you're walking down uh, an alleyway late at night. <laughs> it is true. It is true. It gives you that boost and that confidence to walk and actually even teamwork. It gives you a lot of respect uh, for kids. I've seen them changing, stepping out to this world like with no with no fear, mm. with no fear. What's the kind of discipline and dedication it takes to get to take kickboxing seriously? Yeah, it takes a lot of discipline. Mm. It really takes a lot of discipline. I work, mm. like I train at least two to three hours a day, six times per week. Wow. That's without even start, like not for a fight. But when it comes just to a fight- Just on a regular day. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, just on a regular day. <laughs> and when it comes for a fight, like I train four to six hours. Um, yeah, and it's a lot of mental, a lot of a lot of physical, uh, physical. Like you, really, it's it's challenging. Oh, I can only imagine. Now, I've never really tried kickboxing before. I'm a bit of a lightweight. Uh, so, how about you teach me some basics at the same time? Maybe throw in a few self-defense techniques as well. Sure, I can. will. I will. All no right. problem. Before that, you told me it's very important to hydrate. It is. Right? It Let's is do very that. Important. All right. So I'm just gonna hydrate there with my go. Oasis box drinking water. How much water do you drink on average before uh, the fight? Before the fight, it's about six to eight liters of water. Yeah, six to eight liters. That yeah. is a swimming pool. That, exactly, <laughs> that is very important. All right, guys, I'm excited to try this for the first time. Let's um, go. Let's get our gloves on and I'll see you in the ring. See you guys. All right, guys, I'm in the ring with Reem, who's going to teach me some basics of kickboxing and a few self-defense techniques here and there, right? All right, All let's right, go. Let's get started. So, All right, so the basic one is a jab. Cross. Aren't we doing that other thing? Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I mean when we start. When we start, yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go for a jab, cross, and a mid kick. Okay. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Right. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. All right. Okay. So we're gonna go a jab. So a jab is a left, left. straight. So jab, and a cross, oh. and then a mid kick. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Amazing. Yes. So let's go for another combination. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be a jab, a right uppercut, step with the right knee, and then. Kick with the left. Kick with the left. <clears throat> Step with the right foot, kick with the left. Uh, mm -hmm. Knee with the left, sorry. Okay, so again, jab, an uppercut, step with the right, and knee with, yeah, there okay. you go, knee with the left. Mm -hmm. But make sure when you're kneeing, keep your hands up. So jab, uppercut, step with the right, 
and knee. There you okay. go. That's it. All right. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Jab. Mm -hmm. Right uppercut. Step with the right and knee with the left. There okay. you go. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep your hands up at yes. all times. And then let's do a bit of Muay Thai. Mm -hmm. Now the Muay Thais, they use knees and they use a lot of clinching and elbows. Okay. So with the elbow, we're going to go left jab. Like this? No, no. we're going to go sideways. Oh, sideways. Okay. So we're going to go sideways with it. There you go. Yeah. But step in, remember? Yeah. Step in and then finish up with it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's okay. go one more time. So jab, elbow, and then the other elbow comes. Yes. Okay. So it's all in the face. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And now let's do a little, a little bit of defensive move. Mm -hmm. So for example, if I'm going to attack you, the First thing your instinct is gonna be is to push away, right? Okay, will be to scream, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can scream and then just hit, hit him, yeah. Okay. So or hit her, whatever. Yeah. So if I'm gonna come and attack you to yeah. choke you, okay, you're gonna get one hand in. Yeah. And then you're gonna elbow me. Yeah, there you go. Upward elbow. Oh. There you go. So I'm gonna choke. There you go. Okay. And you elbow. So literally just elbow. Okay. Yeah. And then the other one, if you're from behind, can you turn, please? Mm -hmm. So if I'm gonna come from behind, so you can do that to me. Okay. And I'll show you what to do. All right. Yeah? Okay. So if you come from behind. Yes. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to try to push elbow and then to the groin. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Let's try the first one then, then slowly the go to the one. next one. So if I'm going to attack you, I'm attacking you. Okay. So I'm attacking you. I'm going to close up. Yeah. You're going to get one hand in. Oh. Go upwards. Go upwards. There you go. <laughs> I feel go. like I'm punching myself more. Am I putting too much pressure, by the way? No, it's fine, yeah. <laughs> All right, so if I'm going in. Okay. There you go. Okay. You got my okay? chair. Yeah, it was fine. No worries about me. Okay? <laughs> okay. Let's do the one behind. So if you turn. Okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And I'm coming from behind. Mm -hmm. You're going to try to escape yeah. by pushing me. Okay. So go how, out how, with how, one leg. Just go with, out with one leg. Okay. Push me from your elbows. Push me in. Yeah. Like and this? Then, yeah. And then you can elbow me up. Oh. Turn. Groin. This Literally one. groin. Yeah. This one. Yeah. It doesn't matter which okay. one. Just push, just a push, escape, yeah. elbow, and then go with the groin. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's try. Whatever you see. If there is an opening for a backward elbow, then you go with the backward. Okay. If there's an opening for a side, we go for a side. Yeah? Okay, so, so, so okay. I'm choking you. Yeah. Push. So I'm gonna try push, to let go. Let go. Elbow. Punch. Turn and groin. Okay. <laughs> easy, That's right? good, yeah. That's easy. I mean, in, 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 in real life, when I'm out in the streets, I will remember. There you go. I will try to remember these things. You will remember if you start kickboxing, <laughs> yeah, actually, like, you will remember. Which knee did instinct. Reem tell me I need to use? <laughs> it's an instinct, you know? So, yeah. Reem, it's been fun. Thank you so much. No I problem. obviously need like 10,000 more rounds <laughs> of this just so I can remember my left and right and jab and cross yeah. and whatever. It but this has been fun. Thank you no so problem. much. Really welcome, appreciate it. Thank you. Stay thank safe. you. Man, that was hard. I don't know how she does it. And after that performance in the ring with Reem, I think it's safe to say that I'm about 10,000 odd sessions away from trash talking and challenging an opponent. But nonetheless, it was so much fun. And let me remember to sanitize after wearing those gloves. Guys, always sanitize. I'm just using my cool and cool sanitizer. It's time for a break. On the other side, there's lots more. <laughs> Welcome back to Season 5 of Body & Mind, brought to you by Beverage Partners, Lacno Healthy Living Juices and Oasis Box Drinking Water, Hygiene Partners Cool & Cool and Associate Sponsors, Nutridor Abivia, Allume Chicken and Nutri-Cook. Now, the central ingredients of the food segment tonight are underground superstars and busy bees. Any guesses? Wait and find out. And he is back, award-winning chef Manoj Rai graces my humble apartment once again. Hello, chef. Hi, how are you? Welcome back to my apartment. Thank you very much for calling me again. I'm pleasantly surprised you accepted my second invitation because you're a busy man, aren't you? Now, Chef, last time you uh, fed me broccoli and uh, what else did we have? Tomatoes, That's right? Exactly, yeah. And you were so good at it. Not only are you this multi-talented chef and who keeps really fit himself, you actually do a lot of philanthropical work. You have an NGO which you run in India. Got Tell it, us a little bit it. about it. Okay, so I have an NGO called Santa Chef. Uh, it's all about giving. This is the tagline for my NGO. And we work for underprivileged kids back in Delhi. So we feed 
to different different location to to different uh, you know uh, kids at a different location and i personally believe santa doesn't come only on 25th december he comes every day right i couldn't agree with you more i mean it takes a lot to do an act of kindness especially in the current climate where we are in because there's one part of the world that is eating too much and gaining weight and there's another part of the world who are struggling to put food exactly. on the table and we need people like yourself to you know spread kindness thank so you very much thank you for doing that that's such a fantastic initiative now the reason why you're here this evening is to feed this big kid right here <laughs> yeah so what are you preparing what have you prepared for me So a carrot cupcake mm -hmm. with the cream cheese frosting, light cream cheese frosting. Okay. And the another one is my own recipe. I give it. I call it Thai salad, mm -hmm. but it has a uh, carrot, beetroot, sprout, lettuce, and my secret dressing. Secret dressing. So the main ingredients, the central ingredients of our the food today is carrot, beetroot, and manuka, manuka honey. honey. Now, chef, last time you made me broccoli and whatnot, so I don't care what you say. पहले कुछ मीठे से शुरू करते हैं. I'm going to dig into the carrot cupcake. Tell me a little bit about this one, chef. Okay, so carrot, you know, is a very, very nutritious uh, fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can call it vegetable or a fruit. I call it a fruit and vegetable both. And uh, you know, creating something with carrot as a cake or a cupcake is a task, making tasty. So I just tried a basic ingredient that is very healthy. It is delicious. It's the first time that I've had. A cream cheese frosting on a carrot cake. Why did you choose okay, that? Okay, so uh, basically, you know, keeping the carrot cake so moist inside mm. is a task, and I guess it has come to the. It is very moist mm. right inside. Very moist yeah. inside, yeah. But you know, if you do not cover with the cream cheese, the topping gets harder. So just to keep it moist on the top, because when you're baking it, right, the top and the uh, side part gets harder mm. with the. Uh, air passes through, right? So using of the frosting on top just to keep the moisture inside the cake and give you extra punch and flavor to the dish. Yeah, it definitely packs a punch. Personally, for me, I'm not a big fan of raisins, but I understand that you put it in there just to avoid adding, you know, processed sugar. sugar. Yeah. yeah. So basically, I've used manuka honey, mm -hmm. right? That's the best one. And of course, just to add, uh, Chef also used Abivia condensed milk in the cream frosting to ensure its creamy consistency, yet keeping it healthy uh, because it's rich in vitamin A, B1, and D3. The cake is uh, nice and fluffy and moist at the same time, and I believe you prepared this in my NutriCook Smart Air Fryer oven. Exactly. I love that product because I mean it combines seven kitchen appliances into one, so you can toast, roast, bake, do rotisserie, and I mean this itself tastes so delicious. And it can handle up to 30 liters family style cooking, you know. So it can handle so much. It's a exactly. brilliant product. All right. So moving on from cake to salad. Yes. <laughs> Okay, tell me about this one, chef. Okay, so it has again carrot. Would it have killed you to add a little bit of chicken in this? Like, why do you hate me so much, chef? Why? No, I <laughs> I prefer to create. I do like chicken as well. Mm -hmm. But then uh, you know, sometimes I always try to be on a vegetable, you know, vegetarian part because as a people think that vegetarian vegetables are mm -hmm. ignored side dishes of the dish. I want to create a vegetable as a main ingredient of a dish. Mm -hmm. So it has got carrot, healthy beetroot, manuka honey in the dressing, and then we have rocket lettuce. We have bean sprout, and it has my secret dressing recipes. Okay, are you going to tell us what that is? Of course, why not? Okay. So uh, it has got kaffir lime. Ah, oh, yeah. kaffir lime. Yeah. Last time we had a whole song and dance about kaffir yeah. lime. We both. Love kefir lime, and I think we unanimously agree that it is one of the most underrated leaves that's out there because it exactly. is so flavorful. So it has kefir lime, uh, galangal, ginger, garlic, coriander, green onions, and uh, soya sauce and manuka honey. So many fresh vegetables and an extremely healthy dish as well. Manuka honey has been the scientific evidence to show the medicinal benefits of it. I mean, it is great uh, to to heal your ulcers or scraps or anything you may have. It's a great anti-inflammatory. It boosts immunity, gives energy. I mean, I I could go on and on about manuka exactly. honey, and yeah. it's quite in vogue these days, isn't it? Exactly. People yeah. like manuka honey. Chef, as always, you blow me away with your skills. Um, and Yeah. Sorry, it has a broccoli as well. 
Yes. <laughs> you had to bring broccoli back, didn't you? <laughs> Anti-aging. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Anti-aging. I think I need that now that I'm touching my mid thirties. <laughs> Don't <laughs> tell anyone I said that. <laughs> Chef, as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so Thank much you for much. coming and treating me to these delicious dishes. Still not going to be a vegetarian, but I have enjoyed everything that you put on the table. You. Thank you very me. much. Thank you. Thank you. That was Chef Manoj Rai in action, as always, wowing us with his expertise and his food speaks for itself. Time now for a quick break. There's more on the other side. Welcome back to Body and Mind Season 5, brought to you by Beverage Partners, Lacknow Healthy Living Juices and Oasis Box Drinking Water, Hygiene Partners Cool and Cool, and Associate Sponsors Nutridor Abavia, Allium Chicken and NutriCook. COVID and lockdown has been a time of binging and overindulging, but some people have used this time to make a lifestyle shift and get in shape. We're going to meet one such superstar today. I have a little surprise for you before I reveal who it is, so follow me. Hey guys, are you ready to see my guest for today? She is none other than Tada! Sana Sajan! Hi Ashwarya, how are you doing? I'm so good, how are you? <laughs> Very good and super excited. Likewise, if you don't know who Sana Sajan is, you've been living under a rock because she's one of the most influential Indian women here in UAE. She's also the director of American Aesthetic Medical Center and Danube Welfare Center as well. Besides that, she's also a gorgeous mummy to two beautiful boys. And have I missed out anything else? She's also a dentist and artist. I mean, I could like write a book about just the titles that this woman holds over here. It's so good to see you. You know what? I get very shy when somebody gives me compliments and you have given such a big introduction. <laughs> Thank you so been, much. This is all like fact. Like you are all these things. She's also a good friend, by the way. This is my second time in her home. So thank you for welcoming me and the crew. I'm so to glad your you're house. coming here without a party. I know. Just because for I usually come. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, it's good to catch up. All right, Sana. Now let's talk about the big change in your life, right? You've uh, just had your second son, and since then you've been on this wellness journey. You've lost a ton of weight since. How did that come about? So, um, my younger son, he's one year old now, and uh, it's amazing to have kids. Yes. You know yourself, you're yes. a wonderful mommy. Thank and, you. Um, uh, the, the journey was, you know, it was a plan. And as all mothers, we all want to lose the baby fat, mm. but to start and stick to it, that yes. was the challenge. And uh, it has been great, it has been challenging, mm. but you know, having 20 kilos off your knees, yeah. That feels bad. Oh, it's, it's, it feels like a big weight <laughs> off your shoulder, yes. not just physically, but mentally and emotionally Ooh, as well. You know, because with the dynamic lifestyle that we have, being a part of the Sajan family, yes. uh, Rizwan Sajan has his own parties that we need to attend, yes. and Adil Sajan has his own, and I have my own social circle, yeah. plus the work. Yeah. And besides that, you know, when you want to run around, having those extra stones attached to you, mm. it does it weigh you, you down. down. Literally, <laughs> like the pun intended. <laughs> you look amazing. I know you've been really hard at work with this. What are some of the workout routines that you embraced to lose all the baby weight? So, you know, uh, a lot of things we hear from the uh, people who are professionals that take your good sleep, take the right amount of water, take the right food and also get into a routine of the right exercises, mm -hmm. for example, yoga, and uh, even if you can have a dietitian or a trainer, you know, so you know what I did? <laughs> I went for everything. Oh, you did everything. <laughs> Why not? She is Sana Sajan. She can do it all. I mean, you have such a busy schedule, right? I mean, as we just covered, uh, you have your surgery, your surgery clinic. Then you are so much, your entire family is into welfare and general well-being of people. Yes. You're an artist. You're not a practicing dentist anymore. You're a mom to two lovely boys. How difficult is it to get home and work-life balance? You know, Ashwarya, I think how the Indian uh, mythology goes, I always say this, that women themselves are the avatars of God. Yeah. We, like, 
look at you. You know, it's the same story. Every woman is a miracle in herself. And I don't really think that I have done something crazy because every woman is capable of this. Having a baby, making a baby, having the baby and bringing him forward in the right way itself is such a big task that you do. And I applaud every woman around for that. But coming to your question, how hard it is to balance, you know, when you have the right mindset and you really want to do it, the whole you you just um, carve your life around that and it just gets into steps yes you have to plan but then it falls into place i think once you put your mind to something you stick with it right yeah. i mean we met, you mentioned a little earlier about you know the full busy life that you lead you've got the parties the social gatherings the work trips and what not and i'm sure much like most people you have an emotional attachment towards food. We all love food, oh, yes. right? So <laughs> how hard was it to control that? Because a lot of people say diet is 80% of your weight loss journey. It's true. Yeah. So it is actually, what you do in the gym is one hour in a day. Yeah. Okay. And the rest of the day, what you're doing with your body, including your sleep and water, plus the food, as you said, it's 80% of your food. So um, for me, I think my willpower, I have worked on it well, so I can very easily zip it. <laughs> and luckily, I don't have a sweet tooth. So okay, that's I think good. these things help. Yeah. Plus going on a calorie deficit diet, um, for example, my, my mantra, yeah. and it, a, a lot of dietitians approve of that, mm -hmm. is that, um, you know, in a day, you take, for example, let's assume it is a 1,500 calories, your requirement. If you reduce 500 kilocalories from that per day, and you continue that for one week, you will lose a kilo, mm -hmm. and in a healthy way. So it, basically, I just prophesize that if you go on a calorie deficit diet, but go in portion control as yes, well. Yes, portion control really so works. So that works it? like magic. And you, you stay in a healthy zone. Yeah. So you balance, of course, you put in the right amount of protein, a little bit of carbs and a little bit of minerals and take your multivitamins. So, uh, you know, because as I say human beings, but I prophesize more on women, yeah. because as women, we are doing more than people can even imagine. Yes. And we place ourselves in the end, okay? So I, I push people, I push women to take care of themselves a little bit more. And when you have the right knowledge, use it for yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did for myself. I tried to take my good sleep. Uh, I try to take the right min multivitamins, omegas, and go on the right diet. Of course, I did suffer from a little bit of hair loss. Oh, yes, but it's that true, happens post baby, but, doesn't it? Yes, it happens. So there was a combination of hormones, which is postpartum, and of course the diet. But I tried to cover it up with the right form of, you know, mm. supplements that I can take with that. And, uh, I'm <laughs> and here, here you are. Well, Sana, I know that you're not in your ideal weight right now. You still want to lose a few more kilos. But let me tell you, you look fabulous. You don't need to change a thing about yourself. Continue doing all the amazing work you're doing, not just in your business, but all the welfare stuff as well. Thank you so much for Thank you, having us over here. And congratulations on baby number two. All right? I'm so happy to see you today. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you. All right, guys, that was the beautiful Sana Sajjan sharing her fitness and well-being journey with us. We didn't even get a chance to cover all the philanthropic work that she's into, but maybe another day. Speaking of philanthropy, I want to share with you guys a very important initiative by Lizom. Lizom is the first ever sustainable sanitary pad made from bamboo and corn, locally conceived and designed here in the UAE. And the best part about this initiative is that every time you purchase a pack, they will donate a pack to underprivileged girls and women worldwide. So such a beautiful initiative because personal hygiene especially for young girls is very important all right guys that's all i've got for you on this episode of body and mind season five make sure you tune in same time next week sana has some sandwiches waiting for me so i'm gonna go get them